Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our best shark upright vacuum video for 2022. I've tested just about every shark vacuum out there in the past few years, but with some recent additions to Shark's lineup, I thought it was about time to make some new picks like best overall and best budget version. I took all their specs and features and test results and put it all into a spreadsheet and then gave them weighted scores for each category. So even I didn't know which one would win until I added it all up. So links in the description and let's get started. One quick note is though I did include a lot more shark vacuums on the spreadsheet, I will only include the top 10 in the visual graphics here on the screen to save space. One of the most important things to me is their weight. The lighter they are, the easier they are to push around, and the more happy you'll probably be with it. But there is a trade-off since being lighter usually means having a smaller motor, which means less power. And there is a big difference from the lightest sharks at around 12 pounds to the heaviest at 17 pounds. Some of them do have what's called powered lift away, which is where you can lift away the canister from the rest of the vacuum, and the floor nozzle and brush rollers are still powered, like a stick vacuum, which alleviates a lot of that weight. Powered lift aways should not be confused with just lift aways, which is where you can lift away the canister from the nozzle to make it easy to carry around for above floor cleaning tasks, but you can't use it necessarily like a stick vacuum. To put it another way, not all shark lift aways are powered lift aways, but all powered lift aways are are also liftaways. There was some variation with their dust bin size, but I only weighted this category at a quarter point since they all had better than average capacity. All of Shark's bins can be opened at both ends and are really easy to keep clean, which is something I've always liked about Shark's. Cord length is a little more important to me, so I gave them a half a point if they had a 30 foot cord as opposed to the standard 25 foot. I also gave them a half a point if they had LED lights. I really like lights on the floor head. I feel like I see things that I would have normally missed and it it translates to cleaner floors, in my opinion. One of the recent innovations that Shark has helped to pioneer is the anti-hair wrap technologies, which are on most of their newer models. It doesn't matter if it's pet hair or human hair, all of which we've extensively tested with great results. And while I do find their newer anti-hair wrap systems to be a little better than their older style, like the Zero M type, they both do the job better than any comparable system, and especially compared to old style brush rolls. I gave them one point each if they had some version of an anti-hair wrap system System and zero points if they didn't. Another big metric is their power. This is something I measure in a lot of different ways, whether airflow at the hose or head or sealed suction at the hose or unsealed suction at the head. I found that my results more or less matched up with the official wattage and amp specs given by Shark with some minor exceptions. For example, the Shark Stratos is a little more powerful on paper with things like wattage than the Vertex, but I found that they were really similar with metrics like suction and maybe even a little edge to the vertex, but it really was too close to call. Power is especially important if you have a lot of carpets because it helps to get deep down embedded dirt in carpets. But suction power is also important for above floor cleaning jobs where you'll be using the hose and attachments a lot. But for hard floors, power is a lot less important, especially if you get one with Shark's patented Duo Clean nozzle. The Duo Clean head is probably my favorite vacuum head in the industry. It combines a soft roller up front with a more or less traditional roller in the back. The soft roller system creates a near-perfect seal for things like hard floor crevices. It's also really good for fine debris, basically dusting hard floors. But it's ironically one of the best vacuum styles for large debris on hard floors as well. I often say to touch it is to vacuum it with these soft roller systems. And while some other brands do have soft roller heads, they are exclusively for hard floors. You can't use them on carpets. So you have to physically change the entire floor head if you come to a rug or patch of carpet. Where with the Duo cleans, you just keep vacuuming through those transitions, though most of them do have some kind of switch on the handle to modify the brush speed to maximize their effectiveness on carpets. That being said, if you have almost all carpets in your home, I would not recommend the Duo Clean heads. The regular style heads are consistently better with deep cleaning carpets in our tests, and they're considerably cheaper than the Duo Cleans. So if you have almost all carpets, I would check out the budget picks at the end of this video. I did take into account their 
your attachment set, but I only made two categories, which I think of as a premium attachment set and a standard attachment set. With the premium sets typically coming with a power brush of some kind or some other specialty tool in addition to a crevice or upholstery tool or brush tool. I didn't score filtration, though it is one of my favorite things about shark vacuums. All the ones I listed here are sealed systems with HEPA filters, which is as good as it gets. And that's not at all common in the vacuum world. I've done videos in the past showing why I think this is a big issue, but the bottom line is that good vacuums have this ability and bad vacuums don't. Of course, I took into account their price and I negatively scored them based on how expensive they were. My best overall picks were made without taking price into account, however, and here I had a virtual tie between the Stratos and the Vertex. They really are almost identical with regard to specs and features, except that the Stratos has a new anti-odor cartridge on the floor nozzle, which I consider minimally helpful. But when you take their current prices into account, the Vertex wins. To me, these are two of the best vacuums out there, and if you value power over weight, because they're also two of the heaviest sharks, in my opinion, it comes down to which one of these two is currently the cheapest. For my best value pick, I decided to do a mostly hard floors version and a mostly carpets version. If you have mostly hard floors, then the no-brainer best value pick is the Shark Rotator ADV. The only downside is that it's not a powered lift away like the Vertex or Stratos, but that's not a big deal since it's so much lighter than those two, which is one of the reasons I like it so much. For carpets though, the ever-present Shark Navigator Liftaway NV352 is my value pick. It's one of the cheapest on the list, and I found it to be more powerful than the other two Navigator Liftways in various tests, like the 360 or 356E. It's very light, and it's been around for 10 years, so you can buy everything from wheels to motors online. It doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, like anti-hair wrap or LED lights or powered liftaway, but if you have mostly carpets, I think it'll serve you well for a long time. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.